Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to this week's weekly reset, the last reset of version 11. Right now we are in version 11.50 content update and we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the small patch upload that happened today. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Trello board actually too and look at the general issues that are being uh, looked at right now for Battle Royale and Save the World and Creative, all of Fortnite in general. And of course, we're going to take a look at what's new in Save the World this week, which unfortunately is nothing because we're waiting till Friday for the event update. Uh, so yeah, I did make a couple of mistakes that I do want to correct from the past video. I did say event reset several times. <clears throat> the, the event shop will not reset every single Friday. The event shop will be updating every single Friday until, of course, the last uh, day of the event. And then, of course, it will reset for us this year uh, or this season, I guess, or this uh, version with version 12 comes out next week on February 21st. We will have our first event shop reset in the new format for Fridays and all that and hopefully we'll see some very interesting things there there too the second thing I want to correct is I do want to apologize I did say incorrectly uh well I said a couple things the last uh I said in a different couple different ways so in the last video I did talk about uh about anti cuddle Sarah which we're going to talk about her in a second again too and I did say that her her perk and her commander perk it wasn't working with um heavy attack uh, heavy attacks for melee weapons now after I did say <coughs> excuse me for most of them but I should have clarified much much more uh certain weapons don't work with it uh, for example axes a couple of axes do I've been testing a couple of them uh but a lot of axes don't work a lot of axes now you can't just hold down like for example the spin because it's not going to count until the very end once you stop spinning I've also noticed this with a couple of swords and a couple of spears most uh, that people don't really use most of the common things that people use yes they still do work but I do want to apologize for that uh, I did incorrectly say that and I should have clarified it more to be like with some of uh, items it doesn't work but you know what uh, I still stand by the fact that if you do have anti cuddle Sarah yeah definitely use her but I'd still throw in um I forget his name again Jonesy the the anti anti version of Jonesy I guess anti love Jonesy let's call him I would recommend using him because he will he will work with any elimination at any time. So throwing him in support for me, at least, uh, especially if you're going to be taking out a lot of enemies really fast, it does it does benefit better. That's just for me. But anyway, I want to clarify that. Thank you very much, guys, for pointing those out. I really do appreciate it. So <coughs> let's go ahead and start uh, with the weekly reset. Oh, check it out. We have a couple of free llamas. Uh, let's open these guys right now. And while I'm opening them, guys, I do want to say thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You guys are amazing. I really do appreciate you all. Uh, thank you for supporting. Oh, it's a oh, it's a gold one. I forgot. I totally forgot to even see it was gold. Um, I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for using my creator code right here, DUJ2, right here. Uh, hashtag Epic Partner. It really helps me out so very much, guys. If you spend V-Bucks and save the world or in the Battle Royale shop, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, I really do appreciate it. So we got ourselves a Ceiling Electro Field, a Copper Master, and a Legendary Survivor. Nice. And she's ability-based. Uh, that's awesome. She's competitive and ability-based. So that's going to be awesome. I'll have to use it. And my other one is... Oh, double gold, double gold with a choice. All right, uh, that's awesome. How many tickets did the other one get? I still haven't seen 500 tickets in a very long time in a gold llama. If you, I, a lot of people have told me that they do see it, but I haven't seen that well. So we've got a copper head clipper uh, with affliction, and we've got a copper Vinatec slicer with snare. You guys know where I'm going to go with this. We're going to go with the hop copper head clipper. Uh, I already do have several of the other ones. Um, how many tickets? 50 tickets. So I really wish we could get 500 tickets, though. But anyway, it's better than nothing. All right. So that's it for my llamas there. Uh, check the loot. We still have the same ones here. Items is where we want to go for the weekly items. So again, we did not get anything here in the weekly shop, which is a little disappointing. I, I do believe that they could just drop previous weapons from from any time. We have a lot of weapons from the past. And even from the expansion expansion schem uh, expansion schematics, they could throw them in here. There, there's no reason why we couldn't get a year one, year two, or now year three 
we could get anything. We could get any schematic just thrown in there. I think it would be a really good thing, a really positive thing for us in Save the World to, to see just these, these things rotate in every single week. We don't have daily updates like Battle Royale has, but I kind of think our weekly updates should include more things here. Um, even traps, even throwing in traps in there, you know, or, or things that have been only in events or, or like I said, event schematics or, you know, um, or expansion schematics, just throw, it's only one a week. It'd be totally good to just have us, uh, have them throw in in there. Uh, we've got the Revenant's Wrath, the Retractable Floor Spikes, and that's okay. I'm going to be getting the Legendary Flux. You guys know why I have a plan. Um, I have a little project I'm working on. The Armory Slots, of course, I'm going to get them. Uh, of course, I would recommend if you have the gold, go ahead and get the evolution materials, you know, the rare perk of, of course, I'm going to get it. And of course, I'm going to get the re-perk. Those are really big ones on my list. And over here, we still have everything exactly the same. And for those wondering, the reason why we don't have anti-cuddle Sarah there yet is, as we just saw from here, uh, it does say that anti-cuddle Sarah will be showing up on February 14th. So Valentine's is when we're going to be getting her anti-cuddle Sarah and Valentine's. That's funny. Um, <clears throat> you never know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get a Valentine's event this year. Highly unlikely, but you never know. You never know. We're gonna hold on hope. Uh, so yeah, definitely. So every single Friday when the when the event items update is when we will get those. So right here, this event update right here is she's gonna pop up here on Friday, and then we just have that's the last week. So for us over here, the weekly shop, uh, we do believe that the update version twelve is gonna be happening on Thursday, February twentieth. So. Of course, this shop here, if there's anything new on Wednesday, when it resets, uh, it probably won't be there yet. We're just going to have the regular things. And then Thursday, when the game goes down, big patch update, everything comes back up and we will see something maybe new, something new over here. But definitely it won't be until Friday when we'll see it over on the event items. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this, but if they are planning to do a more of a to, 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 to kind of thing, you know, where we're going to be getting a lot more things and if hopefully we're going to be having LTMs and save the world again or weekly updates or uh, sorry, weekend events is what I meant to say. Uh, if we have something like that, it will be interesting to see more coming to this side. But anyway, that's it for the weekly update. Let's jump into a little bit of something else. So I do want to talk about this quick. We did have uh, another update today. We had a patch 11.50.1 update. Now, let me show you guys this real quick here. This showed up on Reddit uh, uh, yesterday saying as the 11.50.1 stability patch for Xbox One, iOS and Nintendo Switch also contains the fix for weak point harvesting hits not always registering. I will be released on PlayStation 4, PC and Mac. Now, personally for me, that's not something that affected me. I don't exactly know why, to be honest. I never had the weak points thing. If you guys noticed uh, on my streams, I, I showed it several times. I don't think I ever had the part where I wasn't hitting the weak point or getting that bonus. So I don't know. Maybe it was just something subjected to certain accounts or certain things. A lot of people did say it was happening a lot on Xbox. So it's a good thing that it is now fixed. And that's all fixed there, which also takes us to another point. Um, I want to go take a look at the uh, Trello board really quick because this uh well okay so basically i've been keeping a really close eye on save the world and we have had nothing okay there has been nothing here um it's kind of weird because as you guys know sometimes we go through long periods of time when they have absolutely no updates on the trailer board for save the world and then all of a sudden it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. it's it's almost like it's almost like the developers are working on something else and then they get like one week a month they get to work on save the world and that's when they update everything i don't know i don't know but it is very interesting to see all that but where i'm going to take you is over here on the general top issues now we're not going to talk about a real creative because even though you know it's important uh it doesn't really uh, affect us as much as the general issues now i don't normally talk about these because it's not something that i'm used to talking about now uh here are the weak points of registries we're going to see this in a second um we're going to see in a second about this. There was a Reddit thread about it, which I didn't find out to recently. And I wish I would have known about it way before because apparently it was a big deal and uh, it didn't just happen to save the world. Uh, so that's very interesting. But what I do want to look at is right here. Um, we're not going to talk about this one. We're just going to talk about the physics issues. Physics issues in 11.50. Certain interactions may be erratic due to the new chaos physics system. To report physics systems via the in-game tool, select feedback, etc., etc., etc. Now, there are several discussions here if you want to look at it. Now, these are... 
these are very interesting. These are very interesting. Some outfits, there are some uh, Save the World zones mixed up in here. Some outfits and capes move erratically. Boats will sometimes float or move oddly. Boats may fall through the map when moving through buildings or off high cliffs. Several vehicles in creative steer or place oddly. Chomp Jr. pickaxes stretches out well equipped. Storm King's crystals are harder to hit. Huh, interesting. Uh, construction decos will fall apart when placed. That one is incredibly interesting. I actually thought that was a new feature of the chaos system when you put the constructed decos and just do, 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 they all just fall apart. But apparently it's not. Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, at least we still get the same durability of, the, of time for the decoy. But no, it's not a feature. <laughs> well, you know, it's not a bug, it's a feature. No, but that's actually a bug. So they are look looking to fix all these, <clears throat> which is very interesting. And they have them added to the community team. I think this is really interesting. I think the fact that all of this is up here, I hadn't really looked more about this, but it also makes me wonder about the outfits and capes. If these are also going to be something that we're going to be seeing because of the locker changes that are coming in version 12. Now, yes, I will have a video talking about those because I do have my opinions about those. Uh, I, I have to talk about what I feel about the changes because I, I have my opinions. I have my opinions and we're going to talk about that. The very last thing I want to talk to you guys about is going to be the Fortnite status Twitter account. Now, if we go over here, uh, bu 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 boom, right here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the Fortnite status account. It is very much connected to the Fort game game account. But in this one, they very much give us like updates of little things. And here, if you can see, uh, there is, we're aware that the weak points hits while harvesting are always reg aren't always registering. This will be resolved in the next release. This happened February 7th. And four hours ago, they said with the patch version 11.50.1, the issue result involving weak point hits, not always registering has been resolved before our next release. That is really interesting that they actually went through with that. Now, I don't know if this was an issue affecting just Battle Royale or just Save the World, but let me know if you play Battle Royale, was that also a problem? But anyway, that's it. It's all fixed. I want to talk about that. I don't know what else they did in 11.50. They did talk about stability issues. I haven't actually been able to find any information about those stability issues, but I will say this, the I believe that the experience that we all have in Save the World, in Battle Royale, uh, in Fortnite as a whole, it's all different for all of us. My experience is very different from your guys's. How I see the game, how I play the game, what happens in my game, it, it can be very different. So it's very wide and varied. It can go from, you know, since I'm, I'm on PC, the graphics card I have, the processor I have, uh, and all the different tons of variations out there so we can all have different experiences and i gotta say it's pretty interesting to see that sometimes what will affect one person won't affect another so i think it's really interesting that i really do appreciate that they are working to resolve all these issues too i know that these are more fortnite as a whole but i really would like to see a lot of the things that we know are not correct with save the world be given that level of attention including things that they've told us that they would be doing you know balancing evolution materials etc etc i know i've been talking about that forever but i will keep talking about it forever the balance in save the world definitely we need that balance to to really be there time invested materials put in rewards are received all of that balance really needs to be there for save the world but i'm gonna leave it there guys thanks a lot for watching i will see you guys in the next one <sighs> So much i want to talk with you guys right now there's so much i want to tell you guys but i can't yet um thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next one see ya